Welcome to the Startup Showcase. I'm your host, Scott Katoon, and this is Technoid Live from WGN Radio, where Chicago's top tech founders and entrepreneurs come to share their story. Sitting next to me, Showbiz Shelly. Hi, Scott Katoon. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm uh, very good. You're looking all fixed up today. It must be a Transformer party tonight. No, I dressed up just for you. Just oh, for the really? Technoid show. Yes. Well, I mean, I don't see why not to. That's why I'm wearing a golf outing outfit here. <laughs> I'm not golfing today. That's I just right. look like it. Yeah. <laughs> like I tell people, I said something to a guy in the hallway coming into WGN today. I, uh, I just don't know when a golf outing might happen. You know, so. Oh, so you have to be ready at any moment. Always have to be ready. I see. So you're thinking ahead. I'm trying That's to. That's why I like you. See, I do my best to think ahead. ahead. Well, well, yes, Transformers premieres tonight. So I'll be awesome. heading over there after this. And it's right over there by the Lyric Opera House, which I know you're super familiar uh, with. Yeah, our so. office is right there. And yeah. you can see them uh, assembling the little barge. Right Did you underneath. see the whole thing? I saw them putting it together this morning. Oh, wow. Yeah, it, it looks really cool. cool. Oh, I'm well, excited to see it. We can't wait to hear how the event goes. I'll let you know. For sure. I think you'll be able to follow it on social media at Showbiz Show. Oh, yeah. That's my, right. my general understanding of things. <laughs> yes. Uh, joining us today also is uh, Drew Gant from Wyzant. He is the CEO. Uh, Drew, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, of course. So, you know, what we always try to start the show off with is just to understand who you are, what Wyzant is, how it works, why it's there, what the mission is, all these things, and then we'll just kind of bust into a conversation uh, in whatever direction you want to go. Great. So from, from uh, 30,000 feet, what is Wyzant? So Wyzant is essentially a marketplace for tutoring. We have about 80,000 experts, coaches, mentors, tutors all across the U.S., and they offer a variety of subjects. Um, ranging from academic to test prep, and now increasingly in the last few years, a lot of career skills and um, you know, foreign languages is another big, big area. And all the lessons are one-on-one, -on -one, private. Uh, and originally, 12 years ago when we founded the company, they were all in person, but now more of them, and the majority of them, in fact, are happening through our online platform, which is really cool. I was, yeah, I was just going to say, so we, um, we were talking to Chris Burns from Sports Mockery. Mm -hmm. Uh, about the so we've put together kind of a media incubator and we're sort of un, this is getting unveiled like one piece at a time in the in the news which is exciting and also scaring the hell out of me but um, Chris and I were talking about the the value we've done a couple of how actually how I met Shoba Shelley was through a, a live seminar yeah. on how to podcast and how to make money in podcasting and when I talked to Chris who is the founder of Sports Mocker which is the number one sports blog in Chicago he was telling me about how. They were going to do books and they were going to do all these like little informational things. And ultimately they realized that the people, uh, and this is from a digital marketing standpoint, the people he was catering to just simply didn't understand the tools themselves. And he realized that there was a huge value in doing it online first. And now we're doing uh, kind of talking about this idea of putting together this whole digital media kit, right? But only online. So you can actually have a one-on-one -on -one Google Hangout tutor with Chris or I or Shelly on how to grow an influencer or whatever that might be. And it just to me, I think about your, your tutoring service, how over the last 10 years, probably more like three years, everything has shifted to where it's not only is it an asset to be online, it's sort of like your number one model. Like people prefer to just meet you online and in their busy day. Yeah, for sure. I mean, what you're talking about with the marketing skills is exactly what we're seeing, which is there's so much reskilling and upskilling happening as automation and AI and connectivity have changed so many jobs. People have to go learn new skills. And there's a there's a tremendous amount of innovation happening in the education space and online is has just unlocked so much more access and uh, content and availability to people. Um, but really, our role and all and we think all that's great. Our role basically is a good percentage of those people are going to need a little extra help, right? Yeah. Um, not everyone can learn something just by watching a video or reading an article. And that's where we come in. They come to us and we match them up with an expert and help them sort of get across the finish line. So, oh, yeah, yeah. So I was going to say, so do you work with high school kids, of all, kids of all ages, people like you say are looking for jobs, all yeah, kinds it, of people? Yeah, it used to be entirely K-12, but as the platform just evolved, we were seeing more and more demand for you know, college students and then now adults and people, you know, 50 year old people going back to work trying to learn a new skill or maybe the kids go off to college and they say, I want to get back in the workforce. But what I learned in school 30 years ago is not exactly relevant anymore. Um, so it's everything ranging from how do I use Excel and do a pivot tables to, you know, the marketing front, like various marketing automation tools, um, creative software, Photoshop, that sort of thing. And then a lot of coding uh, and then even a lot of niche things like um, I want to become a nurse and I need to pass the NCLEX exam or my licensure exam for finance, my Series 7 or 63. It's like all the, you have to learn so much now and so fast to, to stay ahead and relevant um, that 
you know, that's what's really driving our business today. So what's the price? It, are there certain tutors that are really good that ca- charge more? Yeah, so that's that, where yeah? the marketplace piece comes in. Okay. People, so tutors set their own rate, and you'll see $20, and you'll see $400. <laughs> and you'd be surprised how many people will, will pay the $400, too. Those twenty dollars people need to up their game a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I would say I needed a math tutor, full dis- and biology. Actually, I didn't understand either of those for the life of me, and I still don't. But a tutor got me through, and I made it to Northwestern, so that helped yeah. out. Yeah, I was say it clearly, clearly, clearly well. worked out. But that's that's yeah. the, that's the thing about online is that you can connect with a tutor who maybe lives in a lower cost area, who's able to charge twenty, thirty dollars an hour, even though you live here in Chicago. Um, so you're not limited by geography anymore with online tutoring, which is really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so I'm a big fan of tutors, for sure. So, I mean, I guess on the, as we start to kind of crank through, like, how this whole thing works, it's, it's fascinating to me because, you know, honestly, like you mentioned, not everyone is cut out for just doing video, and there's sort of a touch point. You can do it in person, or you can do it on video, or you can just get tutorials and things like that. And we actually, I reached out to a bunch of, speaking of Northwestern, uh, Northwestern kids who are coming out of their MSGA program, and I, I honestly, I sent it to them just as like a flyer, just to see what people would say. Uh, about us doing sort of a residency program and they're like oh my god as soon as i finish up my my summer program at northwestern where i'm getting a master's degree i would love to sign up for a 13-week free seminar with you oh it's like wait you you'd work for us for free yeah after you just paid all this money to go to northwestern and, and so i actually followed up and, and not to crap on anybody but i followed up with the kids from northwestern and was like why like yeah. just curiously like that seems insane to me i mean i know why but why and they're like well we learned all of the like how the media is supposed to work, like how the business hierarchy works, but we didn't learn the tangible skills, or at least we did, we didn't learn enough about them. So we want to learn like, how do I do this? How do I code? How do I post? How do I tag That's things? so true. Yeah. yeah. And, and so I was like, oh, I, that never dawned on me. And, and this is where you're cleaning house, it seems like. Yeah, it's a, it's a big part of what's driving the business today. And it's, yeah, people, and schools are adapting, I will say. Yeah, like, no, they are, for sure. I think, um, you know, the Northwesterns of the world can still sort of, probably offer whatever courses they want yep. but other schools are forced to be accountable to job placement and, and success and so they're adapting their whole curriculum so that kids can get more hands-on you know useful applicable stuff not just theoretical and I feel like you know I, I don't know if this ends up being the private you know I, I don't I don't even know where I fall on this I, I go on rants when it comes to education every time I, I still don't know where I fall on it the the privatization of education was a bad thing, I think, for a little while. You started to see the the you know you know whatever it's ITT or whatever type for stuff. For profits, yeah. yeah. These things pop up and it's like, ugh, they're guaranteeing tangible skills and jobs, and it's like that's not really real, and those jobs don't exist. And so it's like it really rung me the wrong way. And now I was a huge like totally against it. Now I'm actually like flipping on this and actually thinking, man, if we're gonna have a successful sort of new workforce, we need the wise ends of the world because these people are coming out of school without tangible skills and people who have been out of school for 10 or 15 years can't afford to go back to school now, especially if they have families. Right, yeah. So what do they do? And they need to learn how to, whether it's taking tests, you know, learning how to just to re-up a test. Really which specialized is, things. Yeah, they yeah. need to specialize. And there's so many more options now, um, which is great. The four-year model will, won't go away, um, but there's this term in ed tech that people refer to as the unbundling of higher ed, and it's modular. You can take a course online, you can watch a video on YouTube, yep. you can... And, and there's, you know, opportunities for internships. And, um, and we think that's great. And that's uh, didn't used to exist. And yeah. it's all about access and, and really hopefully democratizing, you know, the opportunities. I, I totally used I used Coursera to, f- to fill the gaps in all the different classes. I felt like I was missing with my degree when I was at Northwestern. I was like trying to fill those spots and classes at different universities would offer online. So I totally get it. So walk me through now kind of from your business kind of perspective. How if I was a, a person wanting to let's say I wanted to transition, so I'm, I'm maybe not totally different industry, but like I want to learn some new things, some new tricks to stay more relevant, to have a better. You know, I was going to retire at sixty, but it turns out it's going to be seventy five. So now I need to like work a little longer. How would I engage your company and learn and and use it to be able to further my career? Yeah. So one one of the cool things about Wisein is it's super flexible and it can be used in a lot of different ways. If you know what you want to be and what you want to do and how to get there, um, then you should start yourself on that course. And if you get stuck along the way, um, you want to be a nurse and you're having trouble passing biology, then we can fill that. We can help you get across that hurdle. But other people don't know where to start. And that's one of the problems today is there's so many options out there of, of how do I learn how to code, for instance. Should I do a boot camp? You know, should I go back to school and get a CS degree? Um, you know, where do I go? And, uh, 
And for those people that don't know, they also use Wiseant because in addition to like the tutoring aspect of I'm going to teach you how to do a skill, there's a huge amount of coaching and mentoring and frankly, even counseling in some cases that that one-on-one personal experience provides that all these other techno- tech-enabled options don't. Yeah. I like this because I feel like, too, you can kind of pick your price, right? Like, I don't know if I really do want to pursue this, so let me maybe hire a tutor for 40 bucks and see if I like it, if they can teach me the things I need to know. Or, you know, so then if you like it, you keep going. If not, then you can Exactly, yeah. You can can get 20 minutes if you want. Yeah. That's something we've really tried to do. There's a lot of other people in the space who try to lock you into big packages. Yeah. I mean, I think the universities are sort of a classic example where um, you have to make such a big commitment and uh, you don't know offhand whether or at the beginning whether that's going to pay off for you or not. Mm -hmm. You know, it's funny is uh, having spent a decent amount of time talking to, you know, universities through Technori and other things, and hopefully they keep talking to me after this call, (laughs) (laughs) after this interview. Uh Yeah, but at any rate, um, no, you know, they mentioned a lot of times, and this is a couple years ago, they mentioned that one of their biggest fears was losing out because of technology, the idea that no longer was there a value maybe to come to the campus or something like that. And they focused entirely on the wrong monster, I guess, if you will. And and because of this failure, companies like yours are able to pop up and really take advantage and fill those gaps and, and actually grow to where I don't think it's far off to think that in a not too distant future, maybe Sands and Northwesterns and Chicago's that like have built this nine billion dollar endowment, but the other ones, the other schools are gonna either lose out or and convert to vocational or they're gonna end up either you acquiring them or them acquiring you or them just going into the mm-hmm. abyss and you popping up in their place because it just as you said the time commitment and the the amount of distraction that we have in the world now and responsibility and kids and lifestyle and everything else gig economy makes it to where i would never i mean i still would go to northwestern but i i would man it's tough like i, I would now have price, to think about sure, yeah. it yeah the price and just for to be sure clear, like the the majority of this is after college right? yeah yeah for sure it's during that 40 years after college i'm thinking of like working. master's stuff i'm thinking yeah. about going back for right, grad school. right, like, right. that model is really where i'm thinking is if you think about again northwestern i only use them as an example because i know them undergrad is one thing yeah grad school they have do you remember what northwestern has is it eight thousand undergrad students and like twenty thousand graduate students across like different I things think, yeah it's something like that it's something yeah. like that that means the bulk of their money is coming in through grad student yeah. MBA. And granted, it's a fantastic program. That's a big commitment when maybe I just needed to learn more about how to become a VC. Maybe I just needed to learn how to be a trader. Maybe I wanted to learn how right. to whatever, you know, Series 7, whatever I need to do. And I would go to you because it doesn't matter where I got it from so long as I pass the test and I'm licensed yeah. and can roll. Super. And you probably, I'm sure you talk to people on the flip side who are hiring talents. Yeah. Like, you know, I put my kind of management hat Talk to on. a like, ton of them. It doesn't, I really don't care what, you know, what is on your resume. I care how well you know something and your attitude and whether you're going to be a good fit for our culture. And I think that's becoming, you know, it's no longer like, oh, I checked these boxes now yeah. I'm guaranteed a job. I the, think it's yeah, so many different right. paths. The right. only, the only thing I'm seeing on that, and we, you know, obviously deal with a lot of our sponsors and partners come to us because of recruitment, right? So uh, having talked to a lot of them, I would say the majority uh, short of like, again, Northwestern Network, Chicago Network is like, well, we hire from them that we actually are like, th- we pay for the Polsky Center in Chicago. So we obviously use the Polsky Center mm-hmm. as a recruiting tool because we fund a lot of it as a sponsor. Short of that, no one cares. They don't care. Yeah, unless no, you're, that's true. Unless they met you there, they literally, the network yeah. thing is, I'm connected to everybody, whether they went to Northwestern or not. And that right. network thing is starting to subside to where, can you do the job? I'm going to pinch. I need to hire someone on the fly. I met with them. They seem good. Let's go. Totally. Yeah. <coughs> Bless <Man>. you. <laughs> Thank you. I got this <laughs> dry throat and all this. I don't know what I'm doing. You'd think I know how to manage the things now. No, but, but I, I think what we're saying is you're on the right track, Drew. Like, this is really good Thank stuff you. here. Thank yeah. you. So, yeah, we're yeah. excited. It's It's been a fun transition, both from going to K-12 to adult and then offline to online. Um, there's a lot of cool things happening. And, uh, yeah, we, uh, we're we excited. So cool. my last thing I want to ask you before we head out of here is uh, where – where do you see what's the next thing going like you're obviously got to this point where do you see it going from here i i mean those are the two big trends and there's so much more we need to i I would say the biggest thing is people don't know they they don't consider this option right go back to those examples of the person that wants to you know become a nurse like they don't think to themselves oh i could probably download this app or go online and a few clicks later be connected with this super experienced nurse who can like mentor me for 30 dollars an hour <laughs> like yeah. that's just the mental model's not there and the awareness and education so everyone who uses it loves it 
um, the MPS and all the other indicators are super high. Uh, we just need to get the word out there and, and, and have people realize that it's an option um, and not be so enamored with, I, you know, it has to be through some video that I learned this stuff. Like pe- person-to-person learning is still really important mm-hmm. and, and is going to play a big role. Yeah. Very cool. Uh, Drew, where do people go to learn more about this and, and sort of get on the marketplace? Uh, Wyzant, download the app, go to the site, W-Y-Z-A-N-T, and uh, yeah, get, get started. You can see, you know, it's very transparent. You can see all the experts, read about them, ratings, reviews, that sort of thing. It's uh, Just go check it out. Very cool. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Cool. Yeah.